hello. Now, apparently, the video I just recorded didn't exactly even register, so I'm just gonna stream this. Basically, there is a special kind of system that's been added in Worlds Part 2, all the way back with Gas Giants, and purple systems and all that. This system will be obvious enough, but, so, I'm just gonna go to the space station. So, yeah, Shadow 3. I've already been here. But, you're gonna want to take note of these glyphs. Because, it is 10F1, or Bird Sunrise Triangle Bird. So... So, we're here in a system that just has a portal I can easily show y'all. Now the glyphs for this don't matter. It's right here in the center of the galaxy. <clears throat> That's kind of the whole gist of it. But, each region, I'll give you the rundown, each region has one star in it. That is the Shadow Star. <coughs> that is... A star that you can see on the galactic map and you can even warp to. You see I'm pressing it to warp. I'm not gonna because I just came from it. But, you can see it. It acts like a normal system in the region. But when you try to use a portal to get to it, the coordinates are invalid and it spits you out in a different system. So, that, I'm just, I just marked it with my freighter to make stuff easy. And, I have No Man's Sky Portal Decoder. I have that on in another tab, so I'll be able to go on about what codes mean. So, this portal. You can use any portal, you can use any galaxy. What's important is that... You know the glyph format. Your first glyph is your planet index. This tells you what planet you're gonna go to in the system, and Typically, just have it as zero or the sunrise because it'll just be the first planet. It works for virtually every system because they all have one planet, so you'll always end up on one. But your next glyphs are three, the dinosaur, E, which is this Y shape, and eight, the dragonfly. These are the system index and this gives you 3E8. Every region has a star under the index 3E8, and this will only work, by the way, if you have purple systems unlocked, so... If you want to try this out for yourself, you're gonna need to already do that. But, besides that, the rest of the glyphs are just to calculate, or... Sort of triangulate what region you are in respect to the galaxy. <clears throat> I won't bore you with it, so it'll just be these. And, as you can see, there was no pop-up message saying the location is corrupted. On the sites, I have this exact portal code, and it says the location is corrupted. So already that's a big giveaway that something is wrong.
so again, I've already been here, so glass three. But as you can see, the second, third, and fourth glyphs are three E eight or dinosaur Y dragonfly. Those are the glyphs to glass systems. And so, these planets are nothing special on their own. But if I come out here, you can see on the bottom right, it is a yellow star with exactly four planets. And they're both Vikine, but four planets, you can see, on the discoveries. But if I go in the map, it's four planets in these two moons in the star's blue. So this is a completely different system than the one I'm in. So you can only reach it via the portals or go to the space station, you can come back. This is it. The glass star is hidden, and this is the region's shadow star. So if you put three E8s, and you have the purple systems, then you got, you just got some cool new secret systems. So, to recap, the glass stars are the opposite of shadow stars in that you can use the portals to get to them, but they show up as the shadow star on the galactic map, and you can deduce that that is the shadow star. So, I'm gonna head back through here and type in the glyph to show you that it is the Shadow Star. Back at the portal, and I'm just gonna put the Shadow Star's glyphs in because Shadow Stars have IDs, but they're one higher than else in a region. So. The first Shadow Stars had to be brute force. They had to put the portal glyphs for every star in the region to find which one by deducing elimination. And so, the one in the smallest region ever in Hilbert Dimension has been found. Anyways. Second planet, and then... Notice these next three glyphs. Sunrise, Triangle, Bird. 0F1. These will be important. But so... This here, and then the triangles. The location's corrupted. You can see the pop-up right here. And on the site, I have these coordinates verbatim. And they don't show off as corrupted. So, these are the Shadow Stars. But here we are. Now this... is... not where I was at. And... I'm just gonna show the glyphs. Sunrise, the boat, and the moon. So, zero, six, four. Zero, six, four. Those were not the glyphs that I just put in, so it spit me out at the wrong coordinates. The glyphs I put in, as you recall, were for this system. I marked it with my freighter. This is the shadow system of the region. I just portaled to it and ended up here. And I can now confidently say that this is another shadow star and you can do this for any region. You can go to the glass star, then probably warp to like a nearby system and then warp to the shadow star again. And you've just found both just by using 3E8. I think that is really phenomenal. 
and I'm putting this out here, just publicize it, and, you know, I don't see this mentioned at all on, like, the wiki, I know fandom's weird and stuff, but, yeah, I want to see, like, wiki levels of documentation on this, this needs to be explored, for sure, N not just, like, my thing, but, like, any region out here, all of these have their own shadow star, but, so, yeah, if anyone you know, like, it's the wiki or whatever you do, then just, just hit me up directly, because I got a bunch to say about these. I think it's cool as hell, and happy Halloween for you guys. Y'all are cool. See ya.